What does Joule mean on the face of an indicator? Stay tuned. I'll take an indicator apart, show you the difference between Joule and non Joule. So this is a shot of the indicator with the backing plate still attached to show the moving of the mechanism. As you can see, this indicator is quite small. I have removed the back plate. The only ruby bushing that is visible is on the center shaft. It acts as a lateral and thrust washer. This is a much better image. As you can see, they are quite small. They're a little bit larger than a sixteenth of an inch. The best way to tell if your indicator is jeweled it will say right on the front face. But if you take it apart and you look on the inside, you'll see reddish, orange, or sometimes green circles. That's telling you that they're ruby or sapphire. And if not, if you take a look to the example on the right, there'll just be a small drilled hole without any bushing application put to it. Before you attempt to take anything apart, make sure that you have a high quality set of screwdrivers. No indicators were harmed in the filming of this video. So why do we have jeweled indicators? They are quite rare. The rubies inside, or sapphires, will last quite a long time. They're generally used for indicators that have extremely high usage. If you've got any value from this, please check out some of my other videos. And like and subscribe. It's free, and it'll help me out. Thank you.